following program is classified G. It's suitable for all ages. We would like to remind our viewers that the views expressed in this program by our participating guests are solely viewpoints of them who take part and does not reflect the views and beliefs of the Verana Media Network. Hello and welcome to another episode on Gen XYZ and this is, as you all know, this is a program where we talk about contemporary or pertaining topics regarding the youth. Now, for the past few weeks on the program itself, we have been talking about, you know, the economic crisis and the problems that the youth are facing. Now, even with both and Shiran, economic analysts, we spoke about the current issues that, you know, the youth is facing because of the economic crisis. And last week, uh, Keith Singh, Lee and Keith Singh all spoke about, you know, how to cope up with the frustration, how youth should manage their mental stress during these times. Now, since because of the floating of the rupee and, you know, the job vacancies are reducing and the unemployment rates are rising everybody is looking for alternative ways in order to earn money in some sort of way and everybody I feel is moving towards an online platform and other ways of earning money per se and the most trending way I would say is you know, people are moving towards trading with the digital currency and moving towards cryptocurrency. And to talk about that, we have uh, Shanaka Rajapaksha, who is the chairman, National ICT Awards chairman of uh, year 2019 and 2021. Shanaka, thank you very much for joining me on the show today. And we have a lot to talk about. We are going to talk about, you know, how the ways the youth can earn money through online platforms but most importantly we are going to talk about cryptocurrency now the main thing is people want to know what this cryptocurrency is all about in the first place because there are so many definitions out there and there's no particular definition everybody has a different view about what this digital currency is all about and they actually want to know whether this is involved with the pyramid scheme whether this is illegal is it okay if we go ahead with this what are your thoughts Shanaka? Thank you very much for inviting me for this program. Uh, of course, uh, you know, people are talking about this uh, crypto. I mean, but only thing I don't think uh, when it comes to layman sort of a, what you call the understanding, it's, uh, it's some people doesn't have the basic idea of what cryptocurrency yes. is. So basically, if you take the, uh, what you call the layman word, is like uh, money but not money. Right? So basically, the if you take to the get into the correct technical terms, it's basically you're talking about the digital currency. So basically, it, uh, it evolves on the computers. So if mm -hmm. you take the layman context, so basically you're talking about the digital currency uh, compared with the normal currencies that we are using day to day. Okay. So how how do people get involved with this? What is the first step that they need to take in order to get into cryptocurrency and trading with this digital currency? Chanel, of course, I, I, I strongly advise anyone if, you, if they're trying to get into the crypto world, first of all, do your research well. Mm -hmm. Do your study and then get into crypto because uh, it's basically you're talking about certain things, virtual things. So if you don't have the basic understanding, it's hard for any, you know, any person to get into uh, crypto business and cryptocurrency, uh, they basically do the transaction. So uh, I strongly advise anyone who is willing to get into the crypto, do your study and do your research and you can, there are enough and more videos and enough and more literature available on the web. First do the study, then you will, be, you are good to go. In your opinion, Shanaka, how should people get involved in cryptocurrency? What's the first step that they need to take? Uh, they have to find, first of all, they have to identify uh, a coin. Oh, basically, they have to do. There are enough and more coins available in the market. Then you have to find a platform. So famous platform in Sri Lanka. If, if, if everybody say Binance, mm -hmm. Binance is one of the uh, famous uh, platforms. So you, when you register, if you you need only a basic uh, email and you know the phone numbers, uh, then the two-factor authentication and various things, and then you are good to go to you know uh, to do trading. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, uh, if you have done the study, you are actually uh, very much complacent, you know. You are very much comfortable, rather. The main question is, 
whether this is legal or not because uh, there's a question now it's arising whether this is linked to the pyramid scheme is it so a uh, very good question uh, shanali actually now if you take certain countries like singapore malaysia the uae and all those countries they have made it uh, legal you know the their central bank has basically endorsed uh, our, our situation is little different uh, about couple of months ago i think they have appointed a committee a parliament committee to study the thing and basically now i think they they would have they, they have come with some sort of a basic plan mm -hmm. what we are trying to do is i think uh, we are trying to uh, basically uh, follow the best like uh, these countries are we are basically successful in doing crypto uh, businesses so i think they are trying to follow the footsteps of those countries and trying to set up a basic framework for us do you think now it's involved with the pyramid scheme now pyramid scheme is definitely illegal here is it somewhat entangled to it yes of course uh, sad side is that because i mean pyramid schemes also basically uh, circulate among the crypto mm -hmm. you know Uh, you, some people will try to, you know, promote uh, saying this is a coin, but end up in getting caught to a pyramid scheme. That is a sad part of it. But this is why I'm always telling: do your research, mm -hmm. do your study, with, with the basic understanding. If you get into this business, you won't go down. How can you avoid getting into the pyramid scheme and do uh, trade in the digital currency in a most ethical way? Uh, yes, as I told you, you know. Um, you uh, basically do the study and then uh, register on a good platform like uh, i'm not trying to use these i'm i can't be using the names because I, they somebody might say i'm trying to promote say so if you say example binance which is very uh, very very sort of popular among asian countries so uh, then you can uh, basically start doing your trading it's somewhat similar to uh, uh, what you call stock trading mm -hmm. so you have your own wallet yeah so shanako what is cryptocurrency per se now beyond the method of payment what are the other characteristics and what are the advantages of you know trading in digital uh, currency Shanel, I, i can't be talking uh, only cryptocurrency here because i had to talk about blockchain mm -hmm. so these two goes in tandem but of course blockchain is a technology which has uh, basically started before the bitcoin and you know bitcoin also i had to use because that is the first uh, cryptocurrency yes Uh, I I wanted to ask you like what are the forms of cryptocurrency and what is the most common way of transactions? Uh, you most common way of transaction is basically you register on a platform and you select the coin and then you start trading. Mm -hmm. So which is uh, I, of course similar. Uh, I I can explain in a, it's a easy thing, but you know it it has some complex steps also. But uh, you can uh, after some time you can be a good uh, crypto trader. Okay. Uh, since you mentioned blockchain what is this blockchain and there was a question arise like when i did my research as well people were asking what is blockchain and is cryptocurrency similar to blockchain and how is it entangled with each other how does it work uh, as i told you blockchain is a technology say like example uh, if you take the lands of sri lanka uh, say like the maps uh, all these uh, deeds and all that mm -hmm. you can put to a block Basically, it's like you know Excel file and a digital database. So okay. you can put, uh, or, but when it comes to a certain, uh, say like 500 entries, it goes to another block. So that's why it says a block. But it's a series of block uh, chain, blo block which evolves, you know, like a database. So if you take this uh, land example, a typical example, which I think Sri Lanka also right now um, going for this uh, blockchain. Uh, based uh, what you call the land thing so uh, they have a key a unique key so that uh, nobody can basically uh, forge so the advantage of blockchain is like it's very secure so right. uh, what happened is cryptocurrency is used to do the payment side of uh, blockchain also so mm -hmm. it goes in tandem you know so cryptocurrency so is just a currency used in the blockchain system is it yeah 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 so for services mm -hmm. and more, now nowadays certain countries have put uh, set up their atms also for their currencies say like singapore if you go there there are uh, bitcoin atms also now so uh, if a person is going to start trading in this uh, digital currency wise do they need to have a particular amount of investment initially uh, not really they can start with the minimum amount Mm -hmm. uh like uh, say 10 dollars or 5 dollars or whatever you can you can start 
uh, based on the you know platform you select certain platform has certain restrictions but uh, mostly it's not you can start with the minimum amount uh, not a big amount all right so just now since you mentioned that there are atms also for bitcoins in other countries do you think it's advisable for you know a country like us in sri lanka to start promoting cryptocurrency trading yes i think as i told you the, the government has set up a team um, uh, which comprises of a person who knows the crypto business and you know the other side is crypto mining and stuff which we'll talk about on a different level so this crypto is basically uh, we are facing a huge uh, financial crisis and dollar so, so i think uh, my opinion is uh, i think crypto is going to you know help us in the long run and it's the most attractive uh, thing happening in the world right now why do you say that uh, <laughs> because i think we are heading towards a one currency thing you know it's a virtual currency and you know without any restrictions like there are good side and bad side of this so uh, so you think in the near future the whole world will be trading in one currency yes of course years to come it has right. it has evolved to i think 14% or something right now crypto right. use in the world so i think uh, hope uh, hope not to <laughs> we, we are heading towards that direction actually so what are the other uh, ways in which you know there are specific terms used in the crypto world and something is called the crypto wallet how do you explain a crypto wallet what is a crypto wallet uh, it's like the same wallet what you're having physically mm-hmm. so once you go to this tra- trading platforms you can have your own wallet so wallet comprises all your transaction basically whatever you are buying and selling like kind of thing you know the, your transactions are all recorded on the wallet and when you want to sell you can go to you know p2p and uh, you can sell your cryptos and you know make it to uh, the preferred uh, currency as you said now recommending this to sri lanka do you think because we have a dollar crisis right now is it recommended that we spend our dollars on crypto market uh it's a tricky question uh, shanali you know uh, some can argue like why you sri lankan stock market is very active and if you take the gold market which is also very lucrative so that's why i'm always telling i mean i can't be telling you know crypto is the only thing so uh, time to time it varies also basically it's a gamble kind of a scenario so you have to be smart and up on the game so uh, crypto is one way of making money and as you said uh, dollars might come and dollars might go so uh, there is that is bit of a tricky situation actually but some countries if you take this uh, singapore and uae and malaysia those countries are basically uh, with the central bank uh, sort of uh, uh, ruling sort of they, are made, they they basically control everything with all those things they have made it a success Mm-hmm. Now, when another question that is arising is, you know, the safety. Now, nothing is physical. Everything is happening online. You are making transactions online. There's nothing you can see physically per se. Like you have money in your hand. The question arises about safety. How safe is it? And is there a probability of you know you being hacked? Yes. Once again, come to basics. Like you know, if your computer is safe. your transaction is also safe uh, like you know i i i like to say use this word you know uh, i mean no you are vulnerable for so many things you know if you don't have the proper antiviruses in your computer basic things are not placed properly then you are in trouble now they are talking about endpoint security endpoint is basically you have to uh, look out if you do your transaction by using your phone by using your laptop your desktop those things have to have the basic protection if you don't have the protection then you are you are asking for trouble basically because uh, you get zero day attacks you know what is a zero day attack like that virus is basically created on the same two day like there are viruses which uh, triggers on the same day so if you are not protective i mean if you don't use your basic uh, protection you are having issues actually you are, you are not uh, safe actually All right Chanaga let's continue this discussion there's a lot more to discuss but before that let's go into a short commercial break you're watching Gen XYZ and we will be back soon
welcome back to Gen XYZ and we are in discussion with Shanaka Rajapaksha and in the first segment we spoke about you know the importance of cryptocurrencies, the characteristics that we have and the first steps that people need to take in order to you know start trading in the digital currency and when we left off we left off with you know the security of you know the probability of people being hacked and the security of their money or their investment and my next question to you Shanaka is how is this form of cryptocurrency taxable yeah uh, now it's also uh, you know depends on the country situation and the country regulation so uh, if I, I was talking about Singapore always the example to take the Singapore, UAE, Malaysia, that uh, example, those countries, the central bank has put up a framework which is being followed, you know. So uh, when it comes to those transactions, I think they are, the government is also getting a certain amount of tax. Uh, tax situation. It's a very good, timely question what you have asked. So uh, at the same time, now, as I told you, Sri Lanka is trying to adapt a good system, a good, good framework, basically. So that's why the, the government and the cabinet ministers are appointed to set up these guidelines and the framework. I hope uh, they will come up with a very good framework where the country is also benefited. And uh, we, they, that will make a conducive environment, uh, Shenali, you know. Uh, friendly, you know, I mean, not a friend, I mean, friendly is not the word, like more secure and a more sort of a environment where everybody can do the trading freely. So this is actually the need of the hour. Because uh, we need, uh, you know, the, uh, that atmosphere or the uh, situation uh, to, which is conducive to do uh, crypto business and crypto marketing, uh, crypto selling and all those things. So I think, uh, you know, the, I mean, that is a very good thing for the youth also. Because the youth, are, I mean, if you take the crypto uh, business nowadays, it's almost 100% is the youth who are doing it. Uh, if you take the gender, this, uh, the, uh, what you call the age, uh, this thing. So, uh, it's, it's a very good thing for the youngsters, the uh, young generation, uh, for them to find alternative ways of making money uh, and, and a legal way, I mean legitimate way, which is very good for any country to survive and during the, I mean, bad times, especially bad times, for them to survive, you know, you don't need a lot of things. No? You need the basic computer and, uh, you know, internet uh, to uh, start trading and of course you had to as i told you i always believe in this i, I keep, keep repeating this also uh, you have to do your own uh, study and with the study and uh, normal i mean government can come can come also in different ways like if you go to the rural village they will not have these facilities now we are talking about crypto business actually it's in western province or you know the main provinces but actually, if you do awareness and you know, for to do to do those things, it has to be first approved by the government and with the what you call the central bank uh, support, and you know, be, and then they they will also get involved. So it's a big process. But hopefully, uh, I hope uh, within the within within very soon we should be able to go there. Okay, so when people get into this, do you think that there are any drawbacks or a risk that they're putting themselves into? Or in Sri Lanka, I will say, do you see that there's a chance of cryptocurrency failing? Uh, uh, actually, it's, uh, it's basically like ups, there are ups and downs, like, you know, the stock market. One day you are basically, uh, it's basically a gamble kind of a situation. Uh, so one, some days, you know, due to di different situations like the country situation, the political. Now, if you take this uh, recent, you know, uh, Russia invading Ukraine, I think the cryptocurrencies, everything has gone down. But after some time, it, uh, once again, those currencies are picked up. So basically, you are talking about a situation where uh, which fluctuations, you know, yeah, you know, due to various factors, it goes up and goes down. So basically, uh, like a stock market scenario. So, uh, so you have to be lucky, you know, to win always, but uh, all the time. Uh, but as you said, there's an element of risk. They say, uh, more, more, higher the risk, the risk, the higher the profit is. Yeah, so. that's true. <laughs> uh, now, some people say, why should we invest in the cryptocurrency? Where you can invest your money in either land or gold, because they are long-standing. 
Uh, what do you say about that? That is also once again based on your personal choice, uh, Shanali, because as I told you, now if you take the gold market, which has basically it's very lucrative. It has got double or triple you think, no time. And if you take the land, it's very stable and you know the condominiums and you know the uh, lands and buildings uh, in Sri Lankan context, uh, it has been going up and you know various fluctuations are there. But uh, crypto is also, uh, I mean you, it's a call you have to take personally. Uh, <laughs> you have with your own study and you know various things, uh, you can basically uh, make it or break it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now we've talking about cryptocurrency and the digital currency in the first segment also we spoke about this but cryptocurrency is not only the an alternative where you can earn money there definitely must be other ways of earning money online as well Shanika, what are there are enough and more ways but I, I i think i will read out certain things because <laughs> it will be good for our youngsters like you know uh, now we you know i've been talking about this for a long time uh, because uh, apart from crypto, what are the other alternatives where you can make a decent amount of money in a, by using, giving your skills. So there are enough and more platforms like Fiverr, freelancing platforms, you know, freelancer is there, Fiverr is there, Upwork is there. Those are legitimate, uh, you know, the platforms where you can uh, showcase your talent, your development talent, you know, the basic uh, programming talent and you can showcase to the world and make money easily. Then in the Facebook, of course, you have a lot of things like uh, live streaming. Then when it comes to monetizations, you can make money. Um, then trending uh, crypto, you know, that is one thing we talk about. Mm -hmm. Tra uh, trending, uh, trading cryptos. Then drop shipping, like you can use eBay, Shopify, those things. Shopify, of course, I think you are aware of. Uh, that is a virtual shopping thing. Where you can ha have your own shop virtually and then you can start trading and you know do businesses so uh, then uh, drop shipping and affiliate market or marketing also you can be an influencer so those things also available and you can easily make money and then e-commerce stores like amazon and all those things yeah you can easily make money so uh, th there are a lot of uh, avenues and you know opportunities for the youth actually to showcase their talent and make a decent amount of money uh, in a in a decent way and uh, by using their skills. So I think uh, that's the way forward for us. The first point you said, uh, Shanaka, was about Fiverr. How does that work? What is that platform? Yeah, Fiverr is basically a platform where the people in the world, so a virtual platform, where people come and you know uh, they will give you jobs. Say so they say they want to have a system made out of a different, say like a software, they will name a software. So we, our software developers can go and basically bid for those. And um, say like, uh, so basically you can do your program and uh, once you complete, uh, or they will, they have their own ter terms and uh, conditions. So basically uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a platform where you can showcase your skills. I mean, for that of course you need to have some sort of a IT literacy. So, uh, Sri Lankans are full of uh, talent and you know, the yeah, youth is very much and they can do a small website even, they can do a small, uh, what do you call, um, even, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, reading proof, proofreading and those things, I mean, a lot of areas where they can easily make money. I mean, one person is not uh, talented in one thing only, some uh, they have different talents. So, but if some a skilled guy also, if uh, he's specialized in one area, he can showcase his talent and make uh, good money out of uh, those platforms. So is it a local platform where you work for our local companies or is it a No, a it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's on the web basically. Everybody can come and you know basically uh, go and uh, bid for it. So it's a, it's a little bit of a competi competitive scenario you are talking about because you have to be competitive at the same time. Of course, some will check not only the price, they will check on the quality. So I think as Sri Lankans, we have to basically work on those uh, quality aspect because our programming and you know our our even our English is far superior when it comes to the rest of the world. So we had to use those uh, what you call the technologies, the our skills, and uh, make it happen. So do these people who are involving in five hours get paid in dollars? Yeah, yeah, they, they, I mean, uh, they basically they will get uh, the international currencies, 
and now i think other thing is uh, those we can connect to crypto as well mm -hmm. how I mean, is that if you do a service you can end up getting paid by using cryptocurrency so uh, mm -hmm. so if so basically like binance or you are using a platform and you are using say like you finish uh, you complete a work for x amount of money you uh, you have been paid by using cryptocurrency is also a possibility now actually that right. is being practiced uh, all over the world right now the next point which you spoke about was something called drop shipping shanaka yeah. what what is drop shipping basically you uh, you can basically uh, if you go to a site like amazon you I'm can basically uh, simulate those uh, products in a different platform mm -hmm. so i make uh, i mean basically it's uh, amazon will pay you for to do the do your drop shipping so is it basically, basically like buying and selling representing on behalf of amazon like a seller right so would you say it's it's similar to buying and selling yes almost but then the transactions will go to amazon yeah yeah So that is called drop shipping. Yeah, yeah. How how popular is drop shipping here in Sri Lanka? It was it very happening? popular, but I think since of late uh, there were few issues like uh, due to various transport issues and various things, we had some drawbacks. But uh, Sri Lanka is very much popular. You mean because of the delivery Logistics services and uh, other things? Okay, so certain uh, uh, players were uh, basically they were giving free delivery mm -hmm. also, uh, but. Uh, nowadays they are talking about certain restrictions but hopefully things will come into place and we'll have the same atmosphere once again right so drop shipping is mainly for the products so what is drop servicing what's the difference uh drop servicing is also some because you do the same thing for the your services they, they ask for services those those services can be uh, producing uh, in the similar way Welcome back to Gen X Y Z, and we were in discussion with Shanaka Rajapaksha, who is the chairman of the ICT Awards in 2019 and 2021. And Shanaka, I think we spoke about a lot of things in the first two segments about cryptocurrency and the other ways of, uh, you know, earning money online. And we, I think, took off in the second break when we were speaking about drop servicing. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's right. And then you, we spoke about Fiverr. trading of cryptocurrency drop shipping drop servicing so what are the other platforms that people can use to earn money online yes yeah, surely i think it is a very timely and a very uh, important question because people are very eagerly waiting to get into these platforms and uh, make a out of, made a make out bug out of it so basically uh, we are talking about uh, the skill stuff like you know fiverr upwork Uh, those are the platforms where a lot of professionals i mean people who have some skills in it can make money but there are certain areas where uh, i would like to call lesser kind of uh, areas where they, where some people are making money out of it like if you take the platform called shuttle stock it's a famous one because if you want to get a, a flicker and shuttle stock those are the platforms where uh, these professional photographers and go and uh, showcase their talents right basically what they do is uh, they take uh, high quality high resolution wise uh, photos and they will uh, put on sale that's and right and when it uh, yeah and uh, you mentioned also about you know influencers now there's this whole trend going on on tiktok on youtube <laughs> where people are claiming themselves to become as influencers maybe anything maybe showcasing a talent or you know going in search of locations anything you know people can name themselves as influencers how uh, shanaka can they monetize this per se just because you upload a video on tiktok or youtube doesn't mean that you can earn money how do you monetize it uh, actually uh, this is all, all almost like you know when you have to have maintain some standards and ethics uh, of course uh, they make a living out of uh, being an influencer so you can't blame them of course but only thing as you said uh, they had to uh, follow certain uh, guidelines or certain ethic ethic uh, ethical practice based practices or some kind of a thing where that they can be governed you know 
so that uh, that won't have adverse effect on the society exactly. i mean other thing is uh, some uh, some can basically uh, lead to uh, misleading you know uh, false information and various you know some can be basically uh, taken into this thing how can they be guided to you know influence people in the right direction and not mislead people uh, for the sad part is generally you don't have a governing body or, or something as such so if there is a governing i'm sure that will also will come into place because mm -hmm. i see certain other countries uh, where they uh, i mean you can't talk about certain restricted things like you know religion politics various things so basically like this i mean this i was talking about in other programs about the data protection net computer computer Mis uh, misuse act at the same time the ethics and the uh, basically you are talking about the boundaries setting up setting up guidelines so some some kind of framework has to be put in mm -hmm. where they, they 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 can't basically go out from those frameworks so as you correctly said they had to uh, we had to set put some uh, standards basically coming back to cryptocurrency shanaka now we just spoke about binance you know that was one platform where you can use cryptocurrency what are the other ways in which you can uh, use your digital currency uh, there are so many uh, platforms if you google it uh, i mean there are so many uh, for bitcoins uh, per se they have their own platform and you know uh, ethereum and various other famous uh, coins are available and they have their own uh, platforms so uh, I mean, it's your choice to, you know, but if you uh, select, uh, but only thing I think what I have found is like certain countries, certain platforms are famous. Mm -hmm. So they have a tendency to use those platforms. And in Sri Lankan context, I don't want to mention the names, but uh, payment gateways also been used now. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw two payment gateways uh, used in Sri Lanka to uh, under Binance uh, platform. So uh, I think uh, so. We are getting the momentum, and I think uh, the mar market is uh, basically the business is booming. Uh, what is the most famous and most popular way of you know trading cryptocurrency? Is it Bitcoin or are there other types? Bitcoin of is uh, from the inception. You know mm -hmm. that was the first coin to be invented. You know, but followed Ethereum and a lot of other coins. And of course, I can remember there was a Sri Lankan who had a Sri Lankan coin also, but end up in, uh, I don't want to talk about it much because uh, they end up in sadly on um, what you call the pyramid schemes. Mm -hmm. So this is a sad sight of uh, uh, certain, you know, certain coins and, you know, people have been misled and, you know, they have been taken for, I mean, their money has been invested. So, um, so as I told you, uh, you had to do your homework and then get into this business uh, crypto especially because it's a new thing uh, i mean i believe one thing is that uh, without doing your homework and your studies on those particular i mean especially when you're investing money i keep repeating this now even if you go and buy stocks you do a research and uh, check uh, the company profile who are the directors uh, i mean the history and all those things so likewise what I feel is crypto also, you have to uh, do the same homework and uh, do the, I mean, this is on the safer side. Somebody can say, no, no, I mean, we just go and buy and we have made a lot of money. So, so you, I mean, I, we can't blame them. They are lucky. That's At the same time, uh, due to various factors, the uh, coin can go down within a day or two. I mean, if there's a, you know, a civil unrest or a war or food crisis, whatever, due Nothing to so many certain. factors, uh, a currency can go down. Yeah, definitely. As my uh, final question, Shanaka, where do you see cryptocurrency going in the future in Sri Lanka? Do you think that, you know, we as a country can adapt into this? And how can we mitigate this risk of, you know, uncertainty and also come into the level of other countries like in Singapore? What can we do? to develop this? First thing, Shanali, the government had to set up a guideline uh, that is from the central bank and they, I mean, I, as I told you in the beginning, they have set up a committee to work on certain uh, reforms and basically uh, to have a good, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, framework. So once you have the framework, it's easy for anybody to uh, do the trading and it's, as you said, it's legitimate 
and you know government is also been benefited you ask a question like whether is taxable so certain things can be you know go, goes as from a transaction some might say this is i mean uh, i'm not talking sense here but at the same time the most difficult part is uh, you know uh, the country also has to benefited so if the country is benefited the economy is benefited and if you have a solid uh, sort of a framework and uh, which is uh, which is safe then uh, people are more uh, secure feel comfortable to invest and as i told you worldwide is about 14 to 15% penetration so sri lanka i'm i'm, I'm thinking about 3 to 4% uh, from the population it's very less so because online is still we are scared some people are scared that you know they will lose money at the same time they may be having a wallet but they must be thinking how to make it uh, when as and when the requirement comes that may be a long term investment but if the person has a short term uh, requirement of money how to uh, convert it into uh, physical currency those are the i mean pro problems uh, everybody will go through definitely so do you think it's advisable what, on on our final take what is your advice to the youth do you recommend them to start trading in cryptocurrency do you recommend to use the platforms we spoke about in this uh, program as well what is your advice to the youth i'm 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 uh, I'm, uh, i'm actually favor in talking favor of uh, crypto you know and trading and various things because i think world is heading towards that direction and i mean we 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 are a come uh, what you call tech savvy uh, nation our literacy is very high and you know our youth is very much educated and they have the basic stuff like computers and all except for the rural part so if everybody can be uh, you know sort of empowered and we have better internet connections and all that uh, with the good infrastructure i think um, we can really i mean youth can be really empowered and you are talking about uh, youth if you take the female the ladies uh, i mean we want to stop th them from going overseas so that this can be one of the areas where they can really work on what is the advantage that you see that sri lanka is gaining from when youth or anybody engages in cryptocurrency uh, of course as i told you i'm not asking one person to do full time crypto business but some people are doing it and they are surviving and they i mean i saw a lot of videos some their life has been changed they have bought beautiful houses beautiful vehicles because of the digital di currency digital currency yes i have seen uh, some posted on youtube so uh, that somebody uh, if he is lucky it it could be his life turning uh, thing where he got into crypto business mm -hmm. at the same time some people might uh, we be not lucky as him he or her they might lose money so uh, it's a basically as i told you you have to be very is up on the game and you know like the stock market you have to be very precise when to buy and when to sell mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to be updated and updated always and be enough. aware about what you're doing with your investments exactly all right shanaka we've reached the end of our program as well and thank you very much again for sharing your views and ideas and about you know how youth can be engaged in this cryptocurrency and start earning online and the platforms available for them again thank you very much thank you very much anali and derana for inviting me and wish you all the best all right and that was the end of our gen xyz program this week we will be back again next week with another pertaining topic that is affecting the youth just in case you couldn't watch us on air you can always rewatch on our youtube channel youtube.com/otherderana english i'm suzan shanali stay safe and have a good night